Good morning, Horizon. This is Alan Carlson, one of your elders again. And uh, just want to share some, some thoughts that I have today with you. You know, lately I've been really admiring people that have a gift of evangelism. And you may know some, some folks that uh, just have this natural talent to engage people that they've never met before, whether it's a grocery store or a dry clean or a gas station, it really doesn't matter where, but an opportunity presents itself and these fellow believers just have a knack of, of engaging people and, and, and sharing their testimony and, and uh, talking about the salvation that's available through our Lord. You know, I, I, I uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess I'm jealous of that uh, because in the Great Commission, when Jesus tells us to go forth and make the same disciples of all nations, he doesn't say if you're comfortable or if you're good at it, if you're effective or any of those things. It's a command. We're all to be ambassadors for his sake. And uh, that's where I have some shortcomings, unfortunately. So I was reminded of, of a couple of things uh, recently by looking at a devotion or reading a devotion. In this particular devotion, there was a, there was a woman who was uh, contemplating an appointment with her insurance agent, and she was kind of thinking about, well, maybe I should cancel. After all, it's just going to be a sales pitch. And she felt convicted. She felt that maybe she'd have an opportunity to, to, share, uh, to share her testimony. So she kept the appointment. And as, the, as she uh, engaged with this, this insurance agent, uh, she was able to uh, share uh, the truth of, of God's love. And it, uh, after the appointment, she felt really good about herself, being able to have the courage and the boldness and the words to to, to say to this other person, uh, it resonated with me. It resonated with me for this reason. I had gotten out of the Navy, I think it was sometime in, in the early 80s, and uh, I needed a job. The only person that would give me a job was a manager of an insurance company. And yes, I sold life insurance. It wasn't what I thought I would ever do, but it was a job, and I had to do it. So earlier on in my, my career, I had an appointment with a, with a person similar in age to me. And, uh, of course, I'm preparing myself, had illustrations and proposals and all this sort of thing. And uh, as, I, as I met with him in his house, he started to share the truth of the assurance that he had in Christ. And this was foreign to me. Uh, I was kind of aware of, of, of God and believed that there was a God, but I really didn't know how to get there. Well, he shared with me. Now, i got to tell you, after the appointment, I, I kind of chewed on it for a while, but it, it um, took a few more promptings, I guess, to lead me to the point where, where I accepted the Lord. But the bottom line is it was just one stepping stone in a, in a process that led me to that point. And I look back on that appointment and I have a deep respect for people that will look at an opportunity and know that it's not a coincidence. Just know that it's a divine appointment. So for you folks out there like me who struggle with evangelism, struggle in the command, go and make disciples, well, number one, you're not alone. But let's commit to looking at life's interruptions, life's appointments as a way of sharing the truth and the love that our Lord has for us. So let's pray. Lord God, thank you so much uh, for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love for us, your working in our hearts. We pray, Father, as we're mindful of your command to go forth and make disciples of all nations, that that would resonate in us, that we wouldn't look at it and shy away. We would look at it and, and realize that this is something that you would have us to do. So as we go about our daily business, whether it's home in our neighborhoods or schools or businesses, wherever it may be, 
I just pray that we would be able to see opportunity that you present, that you would give us the courage, the peace, the words, the sensitivity, all those things that we would be able to share the truth of your love with other people. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for listening, Horizon. Y'all have a good day.